Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Habiba De Silva and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for Eid. I'm going to show you how I got from this to this. I was so inspired by this gorgeous dress to create this makeup look. If you want to support me, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And make sure you have the bell notifications on so you're notified every time I upload a video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. <laughs> One of the main things I really wanted for this look is that glowy, glossy skin. So of course we have to start with the skincare and I'm using this Glow Recipe watermelon hydrating kind of gel, I would say, because it is a very light kind of moisturizer and it gives that very luminous natural skin finish, which is amazing as a base for makeup. And then I'm just going to moisturize my lips. I'm using a lip balm by Glow Recipe as well. And I love this one. It has a little bit of a pink tint. So it makes the lips look very nice and rosy. And then I was going to do like a lip mask while I was doing my eye makeup. But it was ripped in the packet, which is really unfortunate. Anyway, we're going to go straight into the eyebrows. And I'm using my favorite brow pencil. You guys already know by Benefit. And I am doing my brows a little bit differently today. I'm only outlining the outer area of my brow so that they can look very natural and not overdone. I just wanted to go for that very natural brow look and I've already got my brows microbladed anyway so I didn't really need to fill them in on the inside. And then we're just going to conceal around them as we do. I'm using the Pat McGrath concealer. I think this one is in the shade 14. All the details and links for every single product I've used in this video is in the description box. So make sure you head there to check out everything. I'm loving the brows. As you can see, they're looking very natural, not too overdone. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids just to get rid of any pigmentation that I already have. We're not doing eyeshadow today. As I said, it's super simple look, not too much going on. So it's very basic and you guys could easily do this with whatever color you want, whatever concept or theme you want to do it with. So I'm just patting that in and then I'm going to powder my lids just to make sure it's all set perfectly. So this is the star of the show and it's the Fenty Beauty colored i don't know the exact name of this i'm really sorry but it's like a pencil and they have lots of different shades in this i've been waiting for the longest time to use this because i've had it for a while never got the chance and i finally had the chance today and honestly it is one of the best pencils i've ever used um it's very easy to use it's not too dry and also it's not too emollient to the point that it feels like it's just gonna f like smudge basically and as you can see it's very vibrant which i really love that's the eyeliner done what do you guys think going in with some lashes i wanted something that's super sparse and super natural these are my absolute favorite lashes i've whenever i wear them someone always asks me what i'm wearing and you can get a discount on these um it's on the screen right now make sure you go and check them out by khadija's beauty the best way to put lashes in my opinion is to get rid of that little spine and cut it to measure your eyes that way it is going to be comfortable all day and you're not going to need to take it off. Um, I'm going to prime the face using the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Primer. I think that's the one it's called. It's a hydrating primer. And then we're going to go in with foundation. One of my favorite combos, the Smashbox Foundation and the Pat McGrath Foundation. They are amazing together. I lost the footage where I pictured the product that I used here, but I'm using the new Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer. Oh God, I absolutely love this stuff, by the way. It's amazing. I've got the name of the shade in the description box if you guys want to have a look what color I used. Absolutely amazing. Blends like an absolute dream. Very impressive. I'm doing a little bit on the nose, but not too much, and I'm just going to blend it out with my foundation brush.
and then we're going to go in straight with the concealer i'm using fenty beauty i'm using a lot of fenty beauty products today um i'm using the fenty beauty concealer in 310 absolute favorite does not crease whatsoever always looks amazing it's just flawless and then i'm gonna go in with just a little bit of the huda beauty concealer in a very light shade just to give myself that little um brightening under eye effect we're gonna go in with some powder this is not my favorite but i'm trying to finish the powders i have at hand right now before i repurchase the laura mercier one which is my favorite um, this one is just too powdery, just gets everywhere, but I've padded a little bit, a few areas in my face as well, just to make sure everything's nice and set. Then we're going to go in with some bronzer, some powder bronzer, this is also by Fenty Beauty. This one is in the shade Island Ting, I believe, my absolute favourite bronzer. Also doing a little bit of nose contouring, but you guys know I don't really, I'm not too serious about my nose contour. I like to just blend it all over the place and i'm good i wanted to add a little bit more bronze and i'm using the mac bronzer this is one of the new ones um i can't remember the name of the shade but again it's in the description box so check that out then we're gonna do some extra brightening and on the under eyes with the huda beauty powder letting it sit there for a, cute, a couple minutes and then taking it off and then I'm using one of my favorite blushes. This one is by Shiseido. Alpen Glow is the name of the shade. Going in with a bit of mascara, getting my lashes to become friends with the falsies. And then we're gonna spray the face to prepare for the glow because honestly for this look, the main thing I wanted is that glowy fresh skin. I was starting with this, um, I don't know how to describe this product, this product, but it's basically like natural glow, like a glassy glow. It's actually, best to use when you're not wearing makeup but i wanted to use it as a base for my for my other highlighters that i wanted to use so i used it anyway absolute amazing product by the way it looks amazing on skin just gives you that glassy natural glow then i'm going in with um diamond bomb which is amazing you guys already know i'm obsessed and then there's this new one from fenty completely forgot the name of the shade but it's absolutely stunning you guys can see on screen it looks amazing I was absolutely stunned by this product, so impressed, so in love, and it just didn't, it doesn't, it didn't turn out as bronze on my skin, I'm not sure if it's because I used a diamond bomb, but I'm happy with it because it didn't look too dark, and I loved the finished, like, highlight look on my face, it just looked insane, and the thing is with these highlighters, they might look a little bit crazy but as the day goes on your skin just looks even better and better and if you blend it properly it looks fine okay we're gonna do lips now um i want that bitten lip kind of look i'm starting with a brown lip liner by Ilamasca. i'm basically overlining just a little bit all over my lips basically but i'm doing it in a way where it doesn't look overdone if you see what i mean like it's just a tiny bit over it doesn't matter if it's messy by the way because we're gonna fix everything later and then i'm going in with a charlotte tilbury lip liner i think this one's kind of like a pinkish brownish color and i'm just trying to i'm just gonna like blend that brown with it then i'm going in with a bit of a pink very pink today by the way i'm not usually like this but hey nuding it down with a Too faced lipstick and then we're gonna conceal around the lip to make sure it looks as crisp as perfect as possible this is like a hack to make your lipstick look amazing, always. And then of course, I'm gonna be adding a couple freckles cause you know, I'm, I'm kind of obsessed. I'm gonna add a little bit of sparkle on my inner corners. You can use whatever you want for this. You could use a highlighter even. And then finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss on the lips. Um, you can use any clear gloss for this. I just wanted a little bit of something, something, make everything pop. And that is the finished look, guys. How amazing is it? I absolutely love this look. I couldn't take it off for the rest of the day. I was like, I'm not taking off this makeup. I'm gonna sleep in it. And then I've also done a little outfit situation for you guys to inspire you for Eid. I recently received this 
amazing Moroccan kaftan from Arusa collection. The website is in the description box and I also have a discount code so you guys can get a discount on these gorgeous dresses, everything on the website. Um, it's on screen right now and it is in the description box if you guys want to copy and paste it. Honestly, I've never worn a Moroccan kaftan before. This was my first time and I am obsessed. The, this dress is so flattering. It's so gorgeous. The color is insane. And this makeup look and the dress, they just went together so well. I'm so happy with this look. And I just hope quarantine ends before I eat because a girl needs to go out in this outfit because it's just too much. But yeah guys that's the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other Eid looks you'd like me to do um during ramadan thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye